Hi everybody, it's Angela Speranza. I am here on this Thursday night. It is almost eight o'clock, everybody. And in Rochester, it snowed, everybody. And to everybody else, I hope everybody is enjoying your warm weather. Tonight is answering all my viewers' unexpected questions that I have been receiving for the last 48 hours. There's so many. Look, I brought my book tonight. I wrote so many down. And I even have the other phone tonight, too, if we get into that topic. But these ones are really good that I'm going to talk about tonight. Um, if you don't like it, don't watch my show. But I am here to set the record straight. I am here to tell you the way it is. I am here. We're not going to sugarcoat nothing. We're going to get down to the bottom of it. And when you hear these you're gonna be like, yo, what is going on tonight? Okay, so this person had wrote to me, I give him my company and then he doesn't pay any attention to me when he's next to me. Okay, so what do you have on? Like, bitch, do you look ugly? Like, is your hair done? Is your makeup done? Did you brush your teeth today? Yeah, I'm like really hyped tonight, everybody, so... Like, there's reasons why he doesn't want to be up close to you. And he doesn't want to hurt your feelings. So check your hygiene at the door before you let him in. Or go take care of it. Or why do you got to be so stank when you have company over? Like, clean your house. Get your shit together, sis. Like, come on. Like, ugh. Okay. So the other one is... Should I practice tough love on my new girlfriend? <laughs> oh my God. Like, why? Why do you want to hurt her feelings for? Why do you want to practice tough love for? What did she do? You didn't tell me what she did. I only wrote down that. And the answer is no. Tough love is never the response. When it's for a loved one. Should I give my girlfriend a free pass because she stayed out till 2.30 in the morning? <laughs> no. Nope. What is she doing? Was she at breakfast? Did you guys video chat? Were you guys talking and texting the whole time? Did she show you a picture of her food? And did she offer to bring you home something? Ugh. I will give you a trash bag and help you throw the hoe away. As they say, you can never make a hoe into a housewife. That's not very nice, but in this situation, yeah. Okay. Secret, is my ex still thinking of me? They talk to me every now and then. And he acts like I'm his secret. Ha ha. I wrote it down exactly the way she emailed me. Um, that's really not that funny. If he's treating you like a secret, you're not important to him. You don't matter. Why do you have to be a secret? You have every, every right to ask him am I a secret to you and hear what he has to say if he starts laughing in your face then he doesn't value you and he doesn't respect you and he considers you a joke it's going to hurt your feelings when you have this conversation with him because you're going to see his true colors and if he says no and like grabs you touches you kisses you hugs up on you then he's telling you the truth Uh, let's turn the page because I wrote it so fast and so big that I wanted to get it all out tonight. Okay. A lot of X things, a lot of X questions. He wrote, I like to mix them up, give you the guys and the girls. Do you think my ex misses me? We were together for five years and... Everything is my fault, and she always forgives me, but this time she didn't forgive me. Do 
you think I still might have a chance with her? Yes. You need to contact me alone. My number is 585-296-1334. That's just a regular number you can reach me at day or night. Just like how you wrote to me and asked me that question. I will talk to you about that. And you need to let me know how things go. Because um, I will show you how to do the no contact the right way. So she responds to you in a respectable manner. And you get back the woman you love. Next question. I told my boyfriend that I miss him and we've been only dating three months. Why didn't he say it back? That's a good question. Did you tell him like, do you say it every day? Do you say that more than once a day? Because if you were just with him, say you were with him on a Thursday and then you don't see him till that Friday and you say, hey, I miss you. What are you doing? There's nothing wrong with saying it like that. But if you say, hey, I miss you 24 seven and you were just with him, that can be kind of irritating. And I would say I was just with you. You just talked to me like I hope I answered it. I am Angela Speranza. I am the love coach of Rochester answering all my viewers' questions tonight. If you don't like it, get the fuck off my show. Leave a comment. You know, hit like, subscribe. You know what to do. We are letting it all come out tonight. So if you are not 18, must get your mom or dad somebody's consent just to clear my conscience. Um, so let's get back into it. I have a few more that I'm going to address for you tonight. He wants to take my car all the time. But he never puts gas in it. But I love him. And we just had a baby. That. I would stop letting him take your car until he puts gas in it or he hands you gas money. Having a baby doesn't change anything. A man is going to be a man on his own when he's ready. And I don't know why women think that if you have a baby with a guy, he's going to stay. Sometimes it's a total opposite. You shouldn't force nature and you shouldn't try to play God or matchmaker. You know, if he wants to be with you, he will come to you. Don't try to make him or match him come to you because you'll lose. I haven't heard from my ex in two weeks. Should I call them or send them a text message? What should I say? I can't take it anymore. I miss them deeply. Isn't that so romantic? I love love. What I would do if I were you and it's been two weeks and you haven't heard from them and they haven't been calling or texting, I would send a little text like, hey, just thinking about you, hope all is well. You know, and wait for them to respond. If they don't respond to you, it's not the end of the world. They might respond to you the next day with like, hey, just getting your message, everything is good, how about you? There's your conversation. You miss that person. Use that. I am Angela Speranza. I am the love coach of Rochester. I hope I answered everybody's questions tonight. Have a good night, everybody, and be safe.